Hello, I'm Dr. Kayleen Asbo, and I am so excited about the upcoming series at the Petaluma Historical Library and Museum. It's called Crazy Love, and we'll be talking about the lives and the music of some of the greatest classical music composers in history. You might already be familiar with the passionate, tempestuous music of such figures as Chopin, Wagner, Liszt and Schumann, what you might not be aware of is that their lives were every bit as tumultuous and exciting as any soap opera you will ever find on television. We'll start with the great pianist Frederick Chopin, known as the poet of the piano. His beloved was an exotic figure named Georges Sand. In real life, she was actually a baroness, Aurora du Devant, but she had a penchant for cross-dressing, wearing gentlemen's trousers and smoking cigars. Their romantic life was every bit as stormy and tempestuous as Chopin's fantasy impromptu. We turn next to Chopin's great friend, Franz Liszt. There was no town that was safe from his amorous charms as he wooed woman after woman away from their husband. He fell desperately in love in midlife with a Russian princess, Caroline Zahn Wittgenstein. And the story of their failed attempt to marry is one that is worthy of a movie. We'll turn after that to Liszt's daughter, Cosima and how Cosima managed to first marry one of Liszt's own students, conductor and pianist Hans von Bulow, but led an adulterous side life with the composer Richard Wagner, whom she eventually married. All of those characters were friends with Hector Berlioz. Berlioz, probably the most extreme of all the romantics, threatened suicide unless the actress Harriet Smithson would marry him. The story of their love affair is the backdrop for the Symphonie Fantastique. We turn after that to the beautiful, elegant, and soulful Clara Weick. She was a tender maiden of 11 when a dashing law student, Robert Schumann, moved into her household. The two of them fell deeply in love. Their great and passionate love affair was in some ways mediated by the young Johannes Brahms, who entered their life to become the carrier of letters between the two of them when Robert was institutionalized for insanity. Clara and Johannes stayed lifelong friends, dearest companions, treasured colleagues. In fact, their love endured beyond the grave. Brahm said that Clara was the most beautiful expression of his own life, the greatest wealth, and its noblest content. After Brahms, we'll turn to the artist William Hensel and his bride, Fanny Mendelssohn, older sister of Felix. Their love affair and their marriage was one of perseverance patience, tenderness, mutual support, and creativity. And we will finish our series with the poignant story of Edward Elgar and his bride and muse, Alice, a marriage that endured poverty and challenge and was woven together until the end of their days with song and devotion. I hope you'll join me Monday mornings at the Petaluma Historical Library and Museum for this survey of some of the most romantic music you will ever hear and the stories that deserve to be told that form the backdrop for this passionate exploration.